Hey all and welcome to Hatterful Boyfriend. And when my friend last night said that he needed to pick up a bird, I didn't think he would have this in mind. So welcome to St. Piggington's. Please enter your name. And let's enter. So let's find the most immature name possible. So, bird. And we need to click again. Poop. And that's pop because I can't type. Here we go. Are we ready for this? It's bird poop, okay. <laughs> I can't believe my, I'm, I'm laughing at my own jokes. Yeah, here we go. Right. Had to full boyfriend includes powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdliest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. I've got no idea what this sits on about. Display human portraits. Uh, Yes, let's go for the yes and see the manliest of birds around for the birdliest of birds. I am really not the demographic for this. St. Piggington's, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. Yeah, lots and lots of birds. This school is Japan, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Around Britain we have a lot of seagulls and most of them plop on my head. So hopefully none of that happens today. And then when, <laughs> when people say bird magnet, I'm probably one for all the birds pooping on my head. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Piggington's. I've got no idea what I'm doing right now. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds and different backgrounded species. It's perfect for any bird watcher out there. It's probably it's so into bird watching they want to date one. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day since I see you rushing along like this. And now we've got one picture of a bird. Whoa, where are you to? Usually you have to be ready an hour by now, bird. Overslept? So he's overslept. I've got no idea, this is so kawaii. Oh, bloody hell. This rock dove is named Kawa Ruta. I'm never the demographic for this. I do apologise. <laughs> uh, we've been friends since it's, he, was, he was very hacked. <laughs> that must have hurt, sitting out that guy. He can be a little mischievous, but irresponsible and kind. <laughs> oh god. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. He probably lays his own breakfast egg. That is probably cannibalism. I cannot relax without red meat inside. <laughs> I'm sure birds aren't supposed to be cannibalistic. Especially piggins. Living as a hunter gatherers. Oh yeah, they are actually, aren't they? That was the dumb thing for today. Sounds tough. I'll be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Oh, don't. That's like eating someone's poop. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryuta. Oh, God. Eating your own shit for starvation. That is really not the best thing I could ever hear. <laughs> I've got no idea. They're all over the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. I guess I'll pick in and I thought it'd be the most weirdest thing to showcase to you guys. Keepers! And that was so Scooby Doo. No good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. Probably lots and lots of pigging poop. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Wow. I'm really nervous of what's going to happen. Oh bloody hell, what the... <laughs> it's really, really funny. And that's the reason why this game is on today. I'm just lost for words. I think we're in 2-3, the Ruta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange feel fills my heart as I look around the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. <sighs> the, oh look, the teacher's here, finally. Good morning, every birdie. That was a lady bad pun, even badder than mine. Uh, I'm Nana Kizkuzina. 
I'm seen to be your tutor this year and I'm very sorry for murdering Nakami Kuzima. I specialise in math and physics and also some other things. Well, there's a science for you. How can this bird talk? I've got no idea. Zee. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. Which is not a Japanese thing for meaning some kind of class. But I've got no idea. He sleeps with his eyes open. That must be some dedication right there to sleep with. Oh no. Not another kawaii kind of... I've got no idea how to describe this. It's probably bitch or done or something. This quail is... Oh god, Nanaki Kusina, he's famously sophropathic math professor. And I even stumbled on the English word there, not the Japanese name. Bloody hell. I heard the rumours, but I hadn't suspected him to fall asleep just like that. I've got no idea what the hell I'm doing with my life right now. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds comes in all forms, even if they're full of bird poop. I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? We'll take some some feathers. Although that will probably be even worse. Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Sigamoi. I'm absolutely murdering every single Japanese. Ooh, is that sake your tail feather? What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do you think... Oh, this is like a post bird, this is. <laughs> this is the specialist type of bird called a post bird. Do not think I'm here because I need to be. I have absolutely lost the will to live already. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. Wow, well, the post bird doesn't want poor people. It's like real life. This is like a real life simulator, but with piggins. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't get to let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse. And we'll all turn into... Kuklas. Kuklas. And desent it. Yeah. I need to read. <laughs> well, then you put it up uh, that, that. Could you at least say your name, Sigame? And here comes the pot bird with dot dot dot. Sigly li oh, sit. Sigalege Libel Sakura. I can say Sakura because she's in Naruto. Oh, here we go. We've got a pot bird. But it's not probably a bird, it's probably a guy. It seems like this fantail is Sigogain Sakura. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Which is only bad pun again. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can become friends. Sakura sings, sits down, not sings down. Glaring daggers at Ruta and me. Hopefully he doesn't plop on our heads. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Hopefully it's not going to be <laughs> in the form of bird poop. Lunch already. Today is skipping, slipping along so quickly. I've got no idea what's going to be lunch. It's probably their own eggs. Which is, as I say, it's probably cannibalism. That reminds me, I've had those books from the library all summer. I'll return them now. I've got no idea I'm going to do that because birds don't have arms. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly, hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh, here we go. We've got the love interest bird, which is the most weirdest thing I'm ever going to say in my entire life. Not just today. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner. Oh, it's the emo kick. Staying at my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. I wouldn't know because I'm in England. Hmm, did he want something from me? Quest e exclamation mark, not question mark. He looked away. Ooh, gothic. Not really. I'm actually lost which guy to who now. I'm pretty sure that's me because there's no name on top. I'm pretty sure it was him who felt, felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything to do with you. It is the things that you're carrying that I'm not interested in. Okay, that's a bit weird, probably. They've got a load of Cradle of Filth albums that they probably want to flog. He glances at my desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. Hee hee hee. They were all a little too dense and I never finished them and that's the last time you'll ever hear me say hee 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 on Games Defined. What are you waiting for? I'm all summer. I'm sure those Cradle of Filth albums 
I'll probably go into his inbox right now. He suddenly turns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm poop bird. <laughs> Suffer more. What about you? <laughs> poop. <laughs> the thing is, you never... <laughs> when he starts not laughing at poop and book jokes, you've grown too old. You're... Uh, Nagaki. Fuck. Right, that was nearly a slip of the tongue. Fuki Siro. Nagaki. Press man. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got the emo guy. And I remind you that I'm not the demographic for this at all. <laughs> uh, Fuku Siro. Nagaki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad, and probably his Cradle of Filth albums are making him sad. I do actually like Cradle of Filth, joking aside. Leave me alone, and we're not sponsored by those. Uh, he's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Okay, now we've met the email of the class. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I'm out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... I guess I had to skip that a bit too quick. Oh, here comes the boss bird. He should have been in not instructed. He should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakura. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all, the oh, this is going to be <laughs> a family bird reunion. After all these years, everyone will be flocking to see them two reunions at the end of this, probably. My brother. He must be joking. He's never once been a brother to me. Oh, there's drama already. Sit, sit the fan and the bird out. Please don't try and talk to me again. I've had no time for half breeds. I'll be going now. Oh, these possums. You don't like half breeds. So, <laughs> if Hagrid is watching this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, just wait. Uh, I'm so Hagrid is a half breed. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what is done is done. I had a meant to eavesdrop, but I think I've just overheard something juicy. Well, we might write a paper about it next. The ever so popular trendset and ladies man, Sak oh god give me easy names, Sakas Kuki Yuama is Sakura's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey, here comes bird poop. You heard that whole thing right? Are you a friend of Sakura's? I am sorry, I didn't mean to listen in on you. Question mark and exclamation mark, that must be important. Ah, no sweat. I try and say sexy and suave. Oh god, the sexy and suave birds. This is like as bad as Twilight <laughs> for these kind of things. And swave in front of you, all the little ladies. But that wasn't their uh, cool. Oh god. Bear in mind, I'm not the demographic for this at all. You're a Sakazika. This fan tale piggin is Sakazi. You're an upper class man. That means, uh, late school years i've never talked to him before but he's famous or infamous throughout the school every oh that's that bad pun again everybody knows of him i'm just gonna use everybody from now and it's much easier you're bird right yeah i'm bird poop How do <laughs> i know everybody birdie here besides you're the only human a single poppy in a field of rye wow that was quite the beautiful metaphor <laughs> In such a kawaii game of pig and poop. Uh, did he say. <laughs> that was the most infamous. best line I've ever said on Games to Find. Did he say you were a friend of Securus? Not exactly, we had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never thought that Chukabasic. <laughs> Ostacat. Aristocat Wannabe was your brother. This is like reading 101. Ar Aristocat Wannabe, I'm not this bad normally. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. I do. Oh, it's gone through different languages. We're actually learning it out of the French, English and Japanese. He literally is a noble bird. I've never heard of anything like that about Euro. Probably a twisty business. And a new school day. I'm going to just do a few more lines of this. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment if you like this. I hope it's been a fun experience for you all. That's all for today. Stay safe everyone. 
Yay, a school's ended. Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? He said they were going to the infirmary. But I thought that'd be Bird Infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Let's go and see. And then we'll quit for today. Now that I think about it, Ryuta, because he's probably eating his own eggs, or he had a we or he always did have a weak stomach. Probably because he's like, well, at everything of his own eggs. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. And that's the bird infirmary now in this game. And have a look at the bottles. There's a bird and a skull and a cross on one of the bottles. That is the most weirdest thing. So, bird dead cross. Bird dead cross. Uh, excuse me. Uh, no, no birdies here. Oh god, that's, that's the worst thing to say. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains. That'd be weird because then they'd be outside. It wouldn't be much of an infirmary if they're just hovering over the window. And the doctor isn't here either. Oh, actually, yeah, they wouldn't be in that window curtain. They'd be in a window curtain over there with a bed. That was the most dumbest moment again. Uh, my hunter gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Birdie instincts. That's like Spider-Man in instincts. Grayuta. No deploy. <coughs> the infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before, I am like Ryuta. I'm perfectly healthy. Woo, perfectly healthy bird. Uh, woo, they've got loads of kind of drugs in. Okay, this is probably going bad now. You're a trippy. Oh, flip. <laughs> You're a trippy. Look, little in eh? Uh, what do these even do? Care to find out? Oh, this is really bad. Uh, Doctor. Doctor Bird. I feed you all sorts of things. Oh, this is a bit seedy now. If you want. No, thank you. <laughs> that was the best one ever. Okay. And it's playing the dance of a sugar plum fairy. This has got to be the most weird experience of my life. <sighs> this partridge, I'm not the demographic for this. This partridge is Iname Shu, the school doctor. He's a rather creepy in person has got a bad reputation amongst the student body. Everybody know, but every birdie knows that keeps on tripping me up. Knows that I'm just even talking to him can bring you down with aspilies, piticulous, or even worse things. And I never heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Oh, I heard Ryuta. Kawaii. Kawawa. From <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I offend anyone. Kawawa from two three was supposed to be in here. Mm, him, he's already gone. Oh, why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. And that's been the first exciting day of Hatterful Boyfriend, and they've gone out the den of evil. I've got no idea what I've just played, but it was quite a funny experience, as you can see. It's worth. The novelty alone for the £6.99 I paid for it on Steam or your international equivalent of that currency. Hope you've had a good fun uh, let's play of this. If you want to see more please put it down in the comments below and I'll put the link to have a look at the game and purchase the game if you so desire into the comments below. Please like, subscribe and comment. It orders as wonders. And remember, be that bird magnet.